How goes the family? Welcome back to Letters Anything Goes. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Today's subject matter is going to be simple, near and dear to my heart, definitely like all time. Mind every single day, and I always got to share my experiences with you all. Let's talk about families contributing. Um, let's just go with money for now on a twice a year basis, you know? Just like we have to pay monthly bills and all that. This is a, let, let's call it like a family tax in a sense, but set, it goes into a family, a business, a bank account. And, um, you know, rules and stipulations are placed on the account to where our only family members can take out for, um, can never take out money unless it's for an actual business move, period. And everybody has to be in agreement on it. You know, a family majority rule sort of thing. So let's talk about that and let's go with the number started off with $100 twice a year. So we know that's equals $200 a year as an account, uh, you know, the balance would be that. But let's let's do let's even do one better. OK, let's say um, with that. And I always say with that amount of money, you buy my favorite thing, real estate, whether it's land or a property. Um, apartment unit, whatever, uh, and all that good stuff, or franchises or any sort of small mom and pop business that you might, or businesses that you might even want to think about um, uh, getting a loan for or you just creating on your own, you know, things of that nature throughout the United States or heck, throughout the world, you know. I mean, hey, a lot of people are buying uh, land in foreign countries nowadays, they're setting up shop in foreign countries for businesses, and they're doing well, they're doing great. And now when I say family, I'm not just talking about um, your brothers, sisters, mothers, and fathers. No, 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 no. I'm definitely talking about cousins, uncles, aunts, grandparents, etc. Let's say that 30 members of your family, you know, because like I said, we're talking about a, a good chunk here, right? 30 members of your family contributed $100 twice a year, obviously making it $200 a year. It will equal $6,000, okay? Now, let's double that amount and have the family members contribute $200 twice a year. So that's $200 per person. We're talking 30 people here. And hey, if you had more family members, the more the better, right? Twice a year, making that um, $400 uh, from each uh, uh, member, from 30 family members. So that's $400 from each. So that equals $12,000 within a year time frame. Now with that money, you could buy land, cash, meaning no mortgage, Put a down payment on a property in states like, if you just want to talk about America, Pennsylvania, um, Indiana, Minnesota, Michigan, Mississippi, Louisiana, Alabama, you know, parts of Florida, parts of Texas, all over the South and the Midwest, okay? It's like, or like I said, you could go to Central and South America, you go to Caribbean, you go to Africa, you go to parts of Asia, you know, there's a lot of people doing a lot of great things all over the world. That's why I'm just going to leave it local to the, U the United States of America. Um, if your family, you know, has patience and waited two years, it would be $24,000. Or if you waited three years, it would be $36,000. Now, in some places you can buy a house for $36,000 in the United States of America, cash money. You could obtain a public storage facility, which is a turnkey business, and it does not need that many people to run the business. And the crazy thing is everybody working at the business could be a member of the family. Crazy concept, but it does happen all the time. Why? Because I see immigrants do it every day. <laughs> it's that it's that power of family. They don't just have that power of family when it comes to love and raising a child, but the actual family actually, you know, we obtains assets so that they can have stuff to pass down to their kids, 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 generations, generations, and all that great stuff. Okay. Back to the subject at hand, you know, like I said, you could be buying a building, a small multi units, etc. When you get disciplined and focused outside of having fun and, you know, being entertained when it comes to music and sports and all that good stuff, and you have the mindset of making economic power moves and, you know, and when you have that mindset, it can definitely come to fruition. You know, it's a it's a beautiful thing if you really want to have that mindset and if you want to get into the land of implementation. That's all I can say on that one you know, in implementation. And then obviously, you know, I'm a big fan of reading. I read a couple book pages out of a couple books every day. So feed your mind, especially if you're a person who works out a lot, you do a great job of working out with your body. You definitely have to work out what comes to your mind outside of your job and outside of your family. It's a problem. People spend about 100 to 200 to $400 within a couple of months on nonsense all the time. So imagine the possibilities that can change the financial outcome of your family's name. 
Now, I'm not going to say that for some people, $100 and $200 or $400 isn't a lot of money. 2019, it's not really a lot of money, but um, it, it, it's like it could be a lot of money for somebody who's just starting out in life from a financial standpoint. So that's why I said I'm not taking this lightly. But if you have a family members and if you're contributing, you know, even if you partner up with a family member, then you could make, possibly make that at least that $100 twice a year or maybe once a year. You know, you contribute. You might not get as much equity within a business, but as long as you can make a contribution, you know, that's all that really matters. Right. So I just I just leave it at that. OK, here's the other great thing about obtaining great assets like this. You know, real estate franchise, a small family business. You can take equity out of your property or potential business and do it all over again. You know, it's like it's it's one thing that Damon Dash says, you know, like he can't keep money. He's like, I keep I get the money and I flip it. He, he's constantly like people flip homes. He flips businesses constantly. He's constantly taking uh, um, uh, money out of businesses and buy in and, and putting it in other assets, other businesses, other people's visions or even other visions of his own. And that's the that's that constant mindset, constantly growing, constantly evolving, not staying stale and stagnated. Just the other day, and this and this is a true story, and it still babbles me that I had the pleasure of this happening. Just the other day, I was eavesdropping on these individuals. I was coming, I was like coming out of the grocery store, you know. And when I hear people talking business, my ears just perk up. It's like it's like you know, it's like I go, you know, I just go immediately in that direction because it excites me that much, you know. So, anyways, I was eavesdropping on these people's conversation at a local strip mall after I left the grocery store. And I was actually answering a text message, but um, I heard the conversation going, so I just kept acting like I was still um, texting somebody, even though I was done. The conversation really consisted of them opening up another restaurant two stores down from the grocery store that I was at. Hence the word another restaurant, another restaurant, by applying the same method that we're, that we're talking about. And these three gentlemen couldn't have been more than 80, 80 48 years old. Um, it looks like um, two of them were like in their 30s and one might have been in his late 20s. They are constantly reinventing themselves and you should constantly reinvent yourself all at the same time. It just goes to show that you're never too old to start something new again in life. Two of these gentlemen are brothers and the other one was their cousin. Okay, This is what the power of family, my friends, really means. Then um, I'll do you one better. And I'll do you one better. In 2019, $40 is nothing when it comes to money. Now, like I said before, now $40 is a lot when it comes to money in 2019 to you, either you're fresh out of high school or you're homeless. And I'm not saying that to be sarcastic, I'm just saying $40, a lot of people can barely even fill up a gas tank anymore. So $40 is nothing anymore in 2019 and, and, and beyond, you know? Like most people's grocery bills are a hundred and something dollars nowadays. So as I said, $40 is nothing um, when it comes to money. If you donated forty dollars to the family bank account, you know they call family banking is a big thing amongst immigrants, and I think more Americans should practice family banking on um, some sort of a level, not all of their money, but just some sort of a level to where there's money specifically for family businesses. But that's another story. Okay, if you donated forty dollars, you know, twice a year to the family bank, making it eighty dollars with thirty people, you know, thirty members of your family, it will equal twenty-four you know, $100. Obviously, that's not a lot of money. But if you continue to do this for five years, then you'll, you will uh, have $12,000, which um, in turn, which in turn could put put, um, in, put you all into something that could create more assets for family and, and more assets and more assets and more assets. For a lot of families, this is a part of their culture. And I would implore more Americans to try to make this a part of their culture if it's not already a part of their culture. I will say that all with sincerity right now because this is how a lot of, of immigrants are coming to the United States and making things happen because this is a part of their culture. They did it back in their own country. They come here and do that. And then they might look like they don't have the nicest cars and they might have two or three families up in a house um, or and they might have the oldest clothes and whatnot, but they're obtaining assets that um, can eventually in the future, because of having the right patience and the right mindset, can buy multiple houses. I've said this story, the neighborhood I grew up in, this guy from Pakistan and his family, he came here with some money um, and it wasn't a lot of money, but it was enough to open up a, a store, okay? And then what did he do? He had more of his family members come, they worked at a store and then they worked at the various jobs. And then guess what they did? They bought houses 
they kept buying houses and they were renting houses out. They were taking equity loans out of those houses and then they were buying more houses. So they lit and they lived all in the same row up, up with each other within that same neighborhood. And they rent, had rental properties scattered throughout the whole county. So it's having that mindset, especially you just need that one person to bring the idea to the table and then everybody else to add their two cents and then go from it and then bring it to fruition. Okay. But it's a, I'm, it's, it should be a part of our culture, but it's not. It's American culture actually frowns upon this, you know, village mentality, which I think it's working. It worked during the, before the recession, it worked during the recession, and it's definitely working after the recession from an economic standpoint. For those pe people who are working people who are putting their dollars and cents together and continuously flourishing and flourishing. I wish this was a part of my family culture, but that's another story for another day. More families could obtain wealth if they started what people call a family bank, period. You know, the economic game really consists of it really consists of time, discipline, and continuous effort, engagement, and a real vision to succeed. Those five specific things, you know. So I challenge you: if there isn't a part, if if there isn't, um, if this isn't a part of your family culture, let's just keep it simple. If this isn't a part of your family culture, then try to break out of the "you are on your own" nonsense and actually pull resources together. If you apply these principles into your family and this continues for generations, then small amounts of wealth can be obtained for generations to come. I've seen where families, they lived in the same house, and guess what? They got a karate studio. And they, matter of fact, they share their business in the same building. They got a karate studio and a, and a, um, a, a, a pet uh, care, basically where they um, they basically babysit um, for the, uh, people's pets and they actually do grooming and whatnot all at the same time. So you got the karate studio on the front, on the on the top floor, on the bottom floor, you got the doggy daycare. Two businesses in one building from one family. That's group economics. It's not a new concept. It's just a lot, it's a new concept for a lot of Americans because we've been sold this um, mentality of just being a do for selfer and you get yours, I get mine. And you know, that's all she wrote. You know, the crabs in the barrel is nonsense. You know, I gotta look better than you instead of let's, let's looking good together so we can rock out and continuously make things happen. You know, that's the way, that's what, how it needs to be all at the same time, okay? That's, you know, so I, I challenge you on that one. You apply these principles into your family and this continues for generations then small amounts of wealth can be obtained for generations to come. Please change the way you look at money, family. There's no really, there's nothing more I can say on that one. And I, always I end my videos with, you can't get fired if you own the company. But, you know, it's it's time it's time for cousins and brothers and sisters to start looking at each other and saying, hey, man, we could really make some stuff happen. Maybe after work, maybe on the weekend, maybe before work, but we could really make some stuff happen. Let's put our minds together and stop trying to compete. I don't have the same last name. So I leave it at that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and please share. Please definitely please subscribe to the channel. And hey, man, have a great week. Do great things. I'm heading to Seattle in two days and I'm happy about it. West Coast, baby. Take care, y'all.